Huh? Is this what? the blue brand? What just happened? Dude, what, you don't know what the happened? Hell, dog. What just happened? What are you talking about? What the and fuck just happened? Smacked up. You got smacked up. <laughs> All right, cut it there. We're done. No more. Yeah, okay. No All right, I think we did a good job. Yeah, I think so. Hope you. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. Welcome to Smack Up. Ready. May 26. Right we got some energy now. We're not dead as fuck from the pay per view. That killed us. We're we not back dead up, from baby. The butter chicken that we that ate. was tough. You know, the problem was that the pay per view like was fun. We just couldn't bring the energy because I think the, the butter chicken really did like kick our ass into hell. It's I don't know in if our butter soul. chicken is the move for pay per view feelings anymore. I gotta say. Well, yeah, we get, we get too crazy. We get too crazy off the butter the, chicken. The, the mango lassi really brought it back for a second, and then we lost it. It's true. You guys need. To, I think the problem is you guys need to go chicken curry. Oh, this guy again. We brought yeah, Nico who's back. That? Who's here? Is that my boy Nokia? It's Nokia. <laughs> Let me tell you, you can't break me. <laughs> Just like a Nokia. You can't oh, fucking gosh. break me, dude. You can't dude. break me. Just like fucking that dumb American idiot JBL tried breaking the world's greatest charity case, Eddie Guerrero's friend. Where are we at tonight? That's true. Bakersfield, California. Oh my. Home of the... Of the what? Home um, of the... Grave, I guess. The... <laughs> okay, fair enough. I don't know. I was trying to let that thing hang, dog. I was trying to let that thing hang. That Look, thing hang? So we got we got our dude out there, JBL. Mm-hmm. He's talking. Our dude. He's saying, haha, machismo, you're weak. I, you didn't beat me. Haha, actually. Ray Mysterio, you didn't beat me for that. That was a fluke. He's having you a scrub You little moment. Latino. Yeah. I will take all your cum, Ray. I will take all yeah, comers. I'll take on it. This is the no loads refuse come don't. I'll take on all comers. That's a real quote. You can watch that back. JBL was fresh off a of Ram Ranch, and then he was yeah. cut off by Ray Mysterio, who also came back from Ram Ranch after facing all comers. They were big, busy all wide running. and long. Ray Mysterio and looked a little bloated afterwards. That's all. Yeah, I'm he had a, he had a refrigerated mango lassi, so he oh didn't stand a chance. No, but. Big Boy Ray, he came out, he said, I took on all your comers. And then JBL said, well, I'm the biggest comer you're ever going to have. Ray's like, oh, okay, bet. Hey, dude, you want to take on all comers? Yeah. Because I took on all your comers. And JBL's like, did I kick you in your little head too much? Did I make you bleed too much? Yes. The the real problem here is that, you know, we know that the real the realest comer of them all isn't even actually here yet. It's yeah. true. He's, he hasn't yet made his debut. What? And, yeah, you know, the realest comer of them all. However, we we just have to sit here and listen to these two really have a come off. Yeah, and then, Fine, uh... Because they come to a huge climax, Ty, tell them. Yeah, because Ray... So climax? Ray brings it up to, to JBL that, Dog, I talked to Teddy Long, and he approved all my charges against you, dude. You're going to jail. And oh JBL goes, no, what are you talking about, Ray? Ray, I'm not going to go to jail. And he goes, okay, John, I might have lied to you, but I do got you in a title match tonight, and here's your opponent. And here's your JBL's, JBL's stomping in the ring. He's getting angry, and out comes Bobby Lashley. Good grief. Oh, my. And Big, then, big Bobby was looking beefy. He comes down to the ring, and JBL is – Surprised to see Tony Chimmel also enter the ring. And he announces that this following match is for the United States Championship. JBL looks like he was in a fucking car accident. He's like, what the fuck? He's like, how did Ray what do is, this? What is happening, dog? JBL looks like somebody's about to kill his dog. It, uh, I almost feel bad for him. It was nuts. Yeah, JBL got fucking killed there, dude. It was over, dude. Nah, it was tough. I mean... For JBL, rather. I mean, this was awesome for yeah. Bobby. Bobby yeah, just I mean, beat the dog good. shit out of him. It was great. And Bobby's yeah. great, so. And this was this one went by really quick too, because Bobby just got in there. A couple of wrist locks from JBL tried controlling the momentum. He thought he was wrestling Rey Mysterio. Nah, dude, this is big Bobby. Bobby said, "Fuck that." He ducks the close the attempted clothesline from Hell and hits him with a 
destroying spear that absolutely fucking clubs this this big fat Texan from New Jersey. Yeah. One, two, it three. Over. And new! Woo! United States comer! Yeah! Bobby Lashley. Yeah. This was crazy. Yeah, this was, was awesome. They pulled the trigger on it. It was, it was awesome. the right move. Former former uh, member of the military here, Bobby Lashley, becoming U.S. champion. It just makes sense, folks. Yeah, I, it was very needed. I gotta break the pod real quick and yell at Nico and say, at what point did this become bad to you? What? Not, uh, uh, how many times do I gotta explain this to you? I'm not. You gotta explain it for it's the pod. Not... You explained it to me. Like we, I feel bad. like you've been putting like, words in Nico's mouth. I have to. Because Nico's, Nico's vibe when I came in was a little different than you were saying. What you mean? <laughs> Nico was saying, look, I, like I'm not going to put words in Nico's mouth either. But from what I understand, the vibe to Nico was this show was close to being bad for a few, uh, but a few really good decisions stopped it from being bad. Yes. See, but the people don't know that. Don't matter. Don't they lie to now. That's why are you imagine. lying to the people? Why are you mis- why are you misrepresenting Nico? Is what I'm saying. Yeah, because he's a raw down guy. No, Nico's my guy now. What? Yeah. He's Nico's a Pete guy. Our guy. He's yeah, a Pete thanks. last name guy. Exactly. Exactly. Unlike call, you, this, call this guy Nico middle initial. <laughs> this is this is Nico Lesnar, and I'm here as his advocate. Whoa. Yeah. You know what, Pete? Why didn't you advocate JBL? Because backstage, because backstage, JBL gets furious and he goes to into Teddy Long's office and he's yelling again. Before, before that, he shoves an intern down oh, the floor. That's true. He does <laughs> shove a guy on the floor. He shoves a guy to the floor unnecessarily and then barges into Teddy Long's office, grabs him by his collar just like Kurt Angle did a couple weeks they ago. Poor Teddy. He's like, Teddy, I'll kill you if you don't give me another title match with Ray. He's a little poopy head, and I'll kill him. And Teddy's like, you know what? I'm sick of you. I'm sick of Eminem. I fired them yesterday or whenever, like last week. Yeah, Judgment Day. Judgment Day. Yeah. And he's like, you know what? Get get out of my face. And he goes, you know, you know what? If I can't beat little Mr. Machismo, I will quit. I will quit. Oh my god, dude! And you know, and you know, if we had Pete there, he probably could have saved him. He probably that didn't. Really would have been the advocate. He would have been like, no, 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 no. My client doesn't say this. Sure. I need to clarify my client's statement. It doesn't matter. Teddy Long said, "Say that again, Playa." Say that again. He Teddy Long grants JBL his request. JBL gets the fight up against Mister Machismo, Eddie Guerrero's friend, tonight. Oh my in the god! The main event of this SmackDown. In this city, for the this World city. Heavyweight Championship. However, if JBL cannot close the deal, he will have to legally. He's fired, folks. Resign. He's done. He's fired. He's gone from the company. He's, we're gonna he's we're gonna eat his pay stubs, people. Yeah, there's no chance for him. It's over. What else happened? That's all on I this? Got. Yeah, dude. I don't know, man. That was a really good beginning of the show. It got me hot. Oh. What the hell? Yeah. What? I thought it was fine. Let, let the moment sit, huh? Oh, okay. Yeah, just let the let the audience think about that one for a second. How's uh how's everyone doing in the audience? Comment down below how you're feeling. Yeah, this is the Tell official us. hit that this like is button. the official uh audience pause for comment down below. We're gonna give yeah. you ten seconds to write a nice comment. Take a breather. Or if, if, or you if, can if just if you have to turn on your blinker if you're listening to this on the highway. Yeah. Take a sec, we'll give you the time. Or yeah, you can just, just pause right here, and then we can or, we can wait too. We'll give you. We're just gonna fill it. Yeah, let's tell us all your craziest conspiracy theories. Or yeah. what kind of people you? Hate. Yeah. We're we'll, here to we'll give wait. you. We'll give you a flat ten second pause, silence, and then when you get back, we'll we'll say, "Wow, we'll talk to you about it." Yeah. Okay? That's yeah. incredible stuff. That, yeah. You don't Hold have on. to do all the right. therapy sessions. Are active. All right, all right, everybody, pause for ten seconds. I'll tell us when we're good to go. Just go on my signal. All right. Wow, so yeah, that was that's really crazy. I can't believe that conspiracy theory is actually true. I can't believe you that that's wild. I never considered it from I that also believe before. that about Robert Kennedy Jr. 
Yeah. Yeah. Totally. I also yeah. believe that about Robert Conway. He really I also died. believe that about the Krasenstein brothers. Wow. Yeah, the I... Krasensteins. Wow. Um. Yeah, I think I just opened a gate to hell. <laughs> what do you mean? What did you do? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> what? You, what, what? You know, uh, these conspiracy theories that just changed the way I looked at things. I'm just, uh, my perspective. Nico, what did you do? I don't know, guys. He read the top comment. No. Oh, God. I think I saw Simon Dean uh, drive his Segway into that portal as well. Because he, really, well, he, wasn't, he wasn't portal to hell. He was portal to the middle of the Lakota spirit world. Oh, my God. And Tatanka's here, guys. off with him there in the spirit world. Tatanka's here. This is awesome. Okay. He's he's here. He's officially uh, reborn. Reborn as a as a Lakota warrior. Wow. Yeah, he's got uh, new under, music under, too. under the power of the Moon Mother. The yeah. Moon Mother. Yeah. That's her name. That, that was that was a whole like? that, that was one of the first steps of the of the Lakota promos. What's her name? What she looked like, bro? I need to, I need some images in my head. Describe go go back me. and listen to the episode. I'm sure we say it. No, describe yeah. it to me right now, actually. Ah. Brother, I need to know what the movie. Brother, you got me feeling like strange. Right brother, brother, you got me feeling strange. Simon Tyler, Dean. explain the Moon Mother to me, please. Oh, I don't know nothing about that man. <laughs> I know I Simon. I, ginormous bigot Simon Dean does not care about the Moon Mother oh, because God. once this uh, match gets started, Tatanka Irish whips pretty much uh, Simon Dean into the corner. They reverse it out, and then Simon the the ref counts him off, and Simon slaps Tatanka's big meaty chest. And then starts mocking like the the, the, uh, the yeah, Native like American shit, yeah. yell. Yeah. He starts, Very bad move. Yeah, tough. Tatanka immediately blows his shit in and shoves him halfway across the ring, and it deserved as well because that was crazy. But he didn't learn his lesson because Somehow after a few he did again. <laughs> power slams and clotheslines, Tatanka looks great. I know we're whizzing through this because it's only a three minute match, but Tatanka like looked really athletic. He was cr- absolutely dominating that twink Simon Dean. Uh, but Simon Dean didn't learn his lesson. Off uh, off like a clothesline reversal, uh, Simon Dean got Tatanka in the corner again. And then and then m- mimicked, mocked, rather, the, the Native American, like, call. Oh, and Tatanka geez. just absolutely fucking destroyed him. What was his finish? It was like a, like a follow-away press? It was like a slam into a rock, like a, a spinning rock bottom, like an end-of-day-style rock bottom. Yeah, it was nasty. Tonka is victorious in his re-debut. Did they have a name for that move yeah. yet? Yeah, they, it was, uh... Oh, I'm... God, I forgot. It translates to the Thunder. All right, let me I look it up. I think it's, like, Waikia. Yeah, Waikia. Okay. Yeah. Fair enough. It was pretty... Now, uh, this is probably the best Tonka match I've ever T- seen. Tonka. Listen, right. I'm going to tell All you right. this hey, right now. Hey, if you're, you're a Mass Effect full. fan, get in there. We love Tachanka. <laughs> we do. Tachanka. We Mass love the Krogan. Tatanka and Matt Hardy had a tag team match against Eminem earlier in the year. <clears throat> Stellar. It was great. I'm just glad to see him. Yeah. Matt Hardy's best work. He's still going crazy. Tatanka. It's true. Dude, like, like, I have to say, like, I think, like, because I remember when, um, Ricky Steamboat came back. Everybody's like hyped, like, "Oh, he's still this good at this age." We're crazy. I'm just watching Tatanka. I'm like, "How is he so much better than he was?" Like, that's what I. That's what I'm saying. He looks so good. I think it's the roids, guys. No, he's naddied up. He went to the tribe, dude. No, I think it's roids. I'm pretty sure. It's spirit energy, bigot. It's spirit. Spirit. The Lakota are some of the fiercest warriors, like out there. Ah, the the spirits entered my ass cheek. Oh my god! Whoa, I had a hypodermic whoa. needle too. Oh no! Poor Pete. Rest hey, in peace. You know what? This guy, this guy's getting strung makes up. Him better than fucking get him hopped up on some steroids. Listen, man. L- I'm all listeners, about the listeners, at at 100 patrons, you will be funding anabolic steroids for me. <laughs> it's really the only way to go. At 200 patrons, we'll we'll post a picture of him, and uh, we'll let you decide if he looks if natty I, or not. If I'm dead by if I'm if I'm not dead by <laughs> then, we'll post pictures. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be our first official skin reveal. Oh my god! Don't miss it. Can I get a? We'll see our... Go on, no, no, go uh, on. I, no, I am. No. I was interrupting. You'll you'll get a look at our official skin colors. Oh, all right. <laughs> 
put that in the fandom <laughs> website. All right, boys. I need you all <laughs> to get ready we'll, with me. Maybe we'll post feet. Who knows? Three, two, one. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! Dude, <laughs> we finally have Matt Hardy back on the show. He's in the back. Teddy Long and him are... Are chanted up. I don't know why, because he hasn't been on the show in weeks. And uh, Teddy Long tries his goddamn hardest to get Matt Hardy over in the 15 seconds that he gets to be on the air tonight. Teddy Long's like, Matt Hardy, you're a big player. You're a great talent. You're a good wrestler. You're a great talent. And okay, then get the fuck out of the way. Paul, no, Heyman, Paul Heyman shows up. <laughs> oh, Paul Heyman's here, guys. Whoa! Oh God, are you serious, dude? After showing up on Raw, he's he's on here now. He's just perusing. Wow. And then uh, he goes, that Matt Hardy, that's an impressive talent. And I'm Again, like, Doug, shut up. Lobbing him for no that's, reason. That's why his company went under. It's crazy, man. Mul- multiple times. Multiple times. He thinks what Matt did, Hardy's what impressive. It, what did it go under? What do you mean? Oh, he, he, you know. Uh, bankruptcy. Oh. Yeah. Wow, I okay. could drive a tornado. I could fuck a tornado. And, uh, I can slam on the sea. Teddy Long pretty much says, I can't trust you, Heyman. And Heyman goes, you know what? I'm just looking around. It's just business. And we'll see yeah. him later on, too, just hanging out in the background if you, if you catch well, it. What's he looking for is the question, huh? Oh, come, obviously. It's yeah. always come, isn't it? It's all, you know, Everything breaks down in the come. Always was. But I have to say, because I haven't really got to see Teddy too much, but Teddy's really fucking good. He's I love a great him. manager, yeah. Yeah, like as like the GM and shit, he's like he like he he's got a good like energy. He's like he need when he's t- he needs to be tough, he's tough. Like I I have been enjoying watching him. He actually shows up. I he's say. he's he's personable. Yeah. I'm I'm almost I'm I'm on his side every time I see him cuz I love him. Uh he always makes reasonable decisions. Uh he don't doesn't really take shit from anybody. Just like Nico said, when he's got to fucking put his heel down, he puts his heel down. Um, and he's just a goofy guy. I mean, we started a little too early. You know, we didn't get uh, the uh, him singing along during his wedding. I think that happens in 04 or 05. No. Yeah. Remember that? Oh, no, that was so we, haven't gone, we haven't gotten there yet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Dude, we haven't, you know? That hasn't happened yet, big dog. T- Teddy's just a poster, dude. He just likes to post. Joe, he is posting. You're in the future, dog. Oh, that that is to come. I yeah. thought that already happened. No, 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 no. Wow. You're I think in the future. I... <laughs> yeah, you're gonna oh, go. You're... I think I think it just had a vision from the from the moon mother. Nice, dude. <laughs> Shout out. How are you connected mother. to the moon mother, dude? <sighs> Whoa, dude. Can I beat the moon allegations? I don't oh, think so. what the hell? Yeah. Uh, Listen, fly me to the moon. I think we all got to get a little excited because tonight. Why? Because in nineteen in eighteen ninety seven, Bram Stoker published Dracula. Yes, but also Booker T you is having right. his coronation tonight. Coronation. Yes. And we get to relive, relive the match of the night: Great Khali versus The Undertaker at Judgment Day. No way! No way! The, why are, why are we kissing him? And up next. After the commercial, got Chris Benoit versus Mark Henry. Wow. And this ain't just any Mark Henry, dude. Because we come back, right? And 3-6 yep. Mafia is here. <laughs> Memphis is own. Hey. Whoa. Oh, hey. hey. They... Yeah, this was insane. We we got a big pop-off for this one. This is officially the, the WB, like, like, whatever local channel you had era, I'm pretty sure. And then I made the WB a WB paid paid for this this right here. You yes. UPN went on a sick one here. And yeah. um, Mark Henry, I found out. So after the loop got shut, and we have future Mark Henry, he's actually an elemental dude, because he's actually made of water. That man is the wettest man I've ever seen in my life. He comes out. Mm. He does not even understand three six mafia. He doesn't even acknowledge them. Doesn't even get a little excited. He doesn't. He knows they're there. They're his war band. Yeah, but yeah. he he doesn't oh, yeah. quite get it. He's just made he of. He shouldn't. He shouldn't acknowledge. He's a water though, elemental, dude. He doesn't know. He, he doesn't remember. He is no, absolutely think... glistening. Yeah. Yeah, it's 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 nuts, man. It was a they they went on for <laughs> at least four minutes. Henry yeah. Henry looked bored. <laughs> in the ring. 
<laughs> but it was just, good. He looked determined. We got a really good shot as Henry was like kind of because he stops periodically um, when he's walking down the ramp to just kind of take it in. You know, he's like, oh, is that who is that? Is that my war band? Am I ready to, to destroy a village? I am. They're hyping See, me up. They're giving him power. And we get a cool shot of Mark Henry just menacing the crowd with Project Pat, you know, in the background, you know, getting the show on. Yeah. Just, just so sweet. I don't get the vibe of him not caring. I, feel, I just think it's intensity. He's trying to maintain his demeanor, which, well, like, you know, more power to him. You know, he's in the ring, and then Project Pat starts playing, Crispin was a sexy young thing, a bisexual. And then whoa. I was like, whoa. Do that. I was like, whoa. Project Pat, what are you doing? He might be onto something. And uh, Project Pat didn't know. Chris Project ben, Pat did not Chris know. Chris Benoit didn't understand what he was like getting down to the ring to, so he just kind of ran out in his mustard and ketchup pants. Got I hate this gear so much. <laughs> Every time Chris yeah. Benoit is wearing the the yellow mustard radiation yellow pants with the red decal four reel on the side, it's a stinker. Yeah. I don't get it. I don't know what what's for real about it, I got to say. Like uh, last week, he was combed up. Uh, <laughs> last week and Judgment Day, he was combed up. He was wearing the, the, the ketchup and mustard, which is great. But the mustard and ketchup is terrible. He got the mustard Awful. base. And he, he loses every match he wears it. Well. Which I guess, is that like a, like a Kane Pyro tell? If Chris Benoit wears the, the mustard and ketchup, he's so, going down, brother. Listen, so spoiler. It could be the true. He didn't lose the match. It was a no contest. Well, yeah, well, after Chris Benoit Got tried to in. hit the, the water elemental known as Mark Henry with a few chops, Mark Henry exploded into a like a cool. typhoon of water. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but obviously, our, our elemental hero didn't care about that because <laughs> I just, he just demolished him. I just don't understand the disqualification here, though, to be honest. The problem is, it's not even a disqualification. It wasn't the disqualification. Yeah, it was it's no literally contest. no contest by referee stoppage. Yep. Yeah. Nobody is won. that what the cage match says? Yes. Or is that what they shouted? Yeah. No contest. Jesus. Ta- yeah, Taz was confused by it. He's like, I guess the ref called it off. No contest. So they just called it like a knockout, essentially. Yeah. Nobody yeah. won. That's stupid. Sports entertainment finish. <laughs> yeah. Are you entertained? Why did Why did they bring out 3-6 Mafia for that? I don't know. Because <laughs> 3-6 Mafia deserved better. But, uh, yeah, why why would they hear it for Judgment Day? Yeah, for real, for real. He did get the he did get the win said. too. Henry did get the win at Judgment Day, so that sucks. Look, he's ki- he's killing all he's killing all you Reddit jabronis favorites. Kurt Angle jabronied by the legend, Water God Mark Henry. It's true. Chris Benoit bounced. Get out of here. Paul Burchill murdered. Do not, do not try this at home. This Ty Ty made the realization tonight because he's like a wizard mm-hmm. that this match is one of the the <laughs> main materials for uh, a WWE "Don't Try This at Home" promo video. I, yeah, I saw Chris that. Chris writhing on the apron after Mark Henry like put him in like a camel clutch on the rope to a surgically repaired neck four times. Yeah, he starts convulsing, and I'm like, "Wait a minute, I've seen that before." <laughs> <laughs> and I'd unlock it and go, wait a minute. Yeah. Don't try this at home. 2006 yeah. to 2007 promo. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> this is one of the ones. Look, we'll give you a sec. Go look it up. We'll still be here. Believe the action at home. Um, yeah. No. And if you clicked on the wrong one, <laughs> I mean, hey, Rey Mysterio had surgery on his left knee four times. I got so. shotgunned five times in my left knee. My left knee tried this at home four times. And the fifth one blew it out. It was... Listen, this match could have been, like, seven minutes shorter, and it would have been way more impactful, because yeah. Ben yeah. got killed, man. <laughs> yeah, we had a fun sequence toward the, the 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 front half of the match, where Ben Roy gets uh, Henry uh, into the corner. He hits uh, Mark Henry with a beautiful uh, drop kick. Starts kneeing him into the ropes. Mark Henry tries to make a, an offense. He catches one like a stomp. And then Benoit reverses that into a into an insiguri. Then Benoit bounces back off the rope and gives him a 
nasty elbow. Goes back against the rope again. Gives him a disgusting drop kick. Mark Henry tumbles to the floor and uh, just shapes the earth around him in a, in a tsunami. Yeah, Benoit is left bleeding, uh, having a seizure or some sort, and uh, it was disgusting, dude. <laughs> it was disgusting. Yeah, it was tough, because the rest of the match was Henry working Benoit's neck in various clubbings to the back of the head and uh, you know, headlocks and, and various versions of the camel clutch. It's it's weird too because like as Pete said, like he assumed it was a DQ because the finish was that just he just ran into the post and drove him into the post multiple times and said he'd stop when he's ready. And the ref just called for it. And they just said, nah, they waved the match off. <laughs> like, what? That's a DQ, dude. <laughs> but whatever. The elemental gets what he wants. He doesn't get a loss. Yeah. yeah. He's destroyed Benoit again, as as he did to Kurt. He he got Benoit up against the ring post on the outside and just ran into him and clubbed him against it. We get a a, a, a long shot, hanging shot on Mark Henry. And the next time we see Benoit again, he's got like a like a blood booger coming out of his mouth. It's like, yeah. what the fuck is that? <laughs> Nasty. Disgusting. I just wish it wasn't twelve minutes. <laughs> Second yeah, longest match was, on the show. <laughs> it's whatever. I mean, this is not a match, I guess, because it didn't end normally. So. It was fine, I guess. I like Mark Henry beating a guy up, but yeah. Yeah, Nico, what what are your thoughts, dude? I don't know. I, I thought it was kind of a good match. I, I get the no contest, but I don't know. It just it was fine. I wasn't I wasn't too blown away. Just very different than Raw, though. Yeah, definitely. This is definitely a match that would not be on Raw. It would have been we got we got, we got killers on this show. That's why if you go to yeah. Raw, you got five little twink cheerleaders jerking a guy off. Oh uh, no, I, I'll we say got killers on this show, and there's nothing wrong with the five twinks jerking you off either. Have you fried month? <laughs> yeah, have you fried month? No, uh, no, they're all killers. It's just the killers on Raw are like I don't know how to say it. They're, they're bisexuals. Yes, but also. <laughs> They're kind of bad. <laughs> Whoa. Come on, man. Are you saying Raw's uh, bad? Uh, Are you uh, making just the Kane. Advance? It was just Kane, just yeah. Kane. No, you're right. It's just Kane. The the disrespect for penis cigar holder Armando Alejandro Estrada and his buddy Rosie is crazy. Como City say <laughs> ECMO? ECMO. So, after that uh, murder against Chris Benoit, we got its coronation time, guys. We got a new king, and who's no gonna way. who's gonna make him the king of the William Regal? He's not doing anything. We got William Regal coming down, and he's British. And he's yeah, he's British. So he's a uh, Titan Tron says born naughty, <laughs> which I respect. He had a, he had to let Booker know <laughs> that he was born naughty. <laughs> That's why Booker picked him. Regal comes down with a scroll, and once he unravels it, it's really just a a, a long. <laughs> piece of paper that has an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper tied to it. Vince cooked taped with that to one. It. Vince, Vince yeah. really thought about that in the bag. He goes, how are we going to put the script on here without copying it? And they're like, well, just tape a piece of paper to it. <laughs> and much like on this day, May 26th, all the way back in 1805, Napoleon Bonaparte was crowned the king of Italy in the Milan Cathedral. William Regal has the honor of crowning our new king of the ring. Can we confirm King that with Nico? Booker. It's true. Can we... True, I was there. Yeah, but Nico. Yeah. Can you confirm that? Uh, I can confirm. Yes! Our guy, William Regal, is the smartest man of all time. Can you dig it, dig it sucker? Sucker. Oh my god. Wow. Yeah, Booker's coming out, dude. The new king. He comes on a really fucked looking uh, <laughs> limousine. It's got, it, it just, the there's no roof. There's a guy driving it dressed in chainmail, which is sweet. And then the back has got like the 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 sparklers going off constantly. Uh, it's a platform with steps on red felt, and King Booker is on a throne on this uh, with his wife Charmel uh, also sitting next to him. It's got steps so he can step down to the side. 
Uh, the guy driving it looks like a goddamn like I, he's wearing chainmail, but Taz called him a peasant, which is fucked. But a hierarchy of of nobility and and royals and serfs aside, King Booker is absolutely well, not Booker King Booker yet, but Booker T is dripped out in the six XL white tuxedo. Absolutely looking crazy. Charmel looks beautiful as well. Mm, he gets good. down to the ring and. Well, no, is, no, 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 uh, Joe, 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 come on. That's Queen Charmel. She's got the crown on. Well, not just yet. No, no, she had it on from the beginning. She Booker. had the crown on. Yeah, yeah but Booker but, didn't. Yeah. But is she is she the queen up until coronation or before coronation? I don't know. Let's exactly. ask King Philip. She, she. Yeah. Hey, King Philip. <laughs> Can you let us King know Philly. how it works? Please. All right, back to smack up. Oh, hold on. I, huh? I called I called up my buddy, King Charles. <laughs> what? What do you say? We hate yeah, that guy. Yeah, I hate him, but I'll call him up every now and then. Anyways, oh, okay. he told me that Queen Charmel is not queen up until the second King Booker gets coordinated. Aw, oh, man. I'm sorry, Joe. Yeah. I didn't mean to get on you like that, dude. I'm sorry, I, dude. I, dude, I told you, I told you weeks ago. Don't ever fact check me. Uh, I'm sorry. Don't ever fact check me. Yeah, this is this is getting ridiculous, uh, dude. I'm, I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> oh man, come on, guys. I'm, I'm gonna get my I'm gonna get my advocate Pete Heyman to destroy you. No, please. Yeah, Last I, time that happened, well, I got yelled at. Well, He's gonna serve you with a disgusting bad. eight and a half by eleven sheet of paper. I'm gonna, I'm gonna mail no you a, 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 a Nico's not allowed. document of sorts. <laughs> yeah, Go ahead, I'm Nico. just gonna say, Ty, this isn't the worst thing you've done. That would be the times you called Melina 52 times a day for a whole week. That was pretty listen, bad. listen. I, I just wanted that. to answer. I need to tell her something. I how need many, to warn how her many about. Letters did you send? Huh? I just need to <laughs> warn they, her. They, did you send? They, the police had to come to their house. Yeah. <laughs> She just stopped. Dude, she just. She needs happening? to know. How did you even get her home address? What? Dude, it's, uh, it's public. Dude, what do you want? <laughs> I don't want to do this bit no more. <laughs> I don't want to do you this bit. <laughs> what do you mean? I'm going to bit. I'm going to bit. What are you talking what do you about? Mean, bit, We're dude. live, pal. What are you talking about, dude? Uh, We're what? live. <laughs> Exposing like, everything. I don't. I'm sorry, dude. I, I don't know, man. I did, everything was public, man. I don't. I don't know. I don't want to go to jail, guys. Go on. I don't want to go. Look, look. That's fine. I. I think. I think King Booker can help absolve you of those. Of those. I needed uh, the warning. I needed a warner for a loop, trying to close in on her. Well, you know what? Maybe wait a year. I think we'll get somebody who can really help you out there. Okay. 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 I actually have no idea what he means, and I don't want to know. <laughs> Don't worry about it. That's fine. We we eventually get to the point where uh Charmel uh takes the uh cowl, uh the king's cowl off of the mannequin and puts it on Booker T. We've got Sh uh Tony Chimmel and William Regal bowing at the waist the entire time this is happening. It's gotta be killer for the back. Uh Charmel then grabs the king's scepter and awards it to the king of the ring and finally our king is crowned he is officially king a booker wow and this and this gimmick doesn't go away for like five years yeah because it's the he's the best king of the ring ever I look so. I, I once again i will be blessed by uh the moon mother he's the best king of the ring ever i don't know if i believe you He's the most entertaining King of the Ring. You believe that? No. Who is more entertaining than this? I don't know. <laughs> Steve don't Austin when he when he when he stomps know. it the next night. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think, yeah, absolutely, actually. Right. Because you know what? Fuck people that make the gimmick. They they make winning the King of the Ring their gimmick. It's stupid. That yeah, was always dumb. It, but... and the King of the Ring was was worthless because of. But listen, man, Booker T was not ready yet. He was cheesing the whole time. He was he was like giving this weird little smile. But Tyler, I'm gonna destroy you what? if you if you AI algorithm transition me again. What do you Whoa. What do you mean transition? You <laughs> have, but listen, member? and then we're, you we're hit on me this. with we're on you, this, baby. You, you hit me with the the tick, those two TikTok dudes. 
hey, hey, check it out. Check this out, though. And I, just something completely unrelated. But really, it was this. You. No, wait, but actually. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, 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 I was right back, dude. I, didn't, I missed it. Well, listen. What? I'm going to destroy you. I'm sorry. I missed the combo. <laughs> I had to go okay. make sure the light was on for my wife. <laughs> This is staying in because of you. Oh come See, on! See, this this is why this is why Ty is a king, because just like Booker T, he's also coronated his wife as his queen. That's true. Oh man, I appreciate that. Yeah, dude. You, look, you put on, you put on, dude. Spinning. Ty, when I next time I see you, better be wearing a, a six XL suit. Oh, you know it. Yeah. And I'll be cheesing it the whole time too. Charmel is so happy by this; she's nearly brought to tears. <laughs> Booker gets on the mic and is like, we will reign over SmackDown. We will rule with an iron fist. Immediately turns into a tyrant, like all okay. kings. Alright, look, yeah, that was cool. Yeah, <laughs> if you're gonna say, like, best best king of the ring purely on the tyrant aspect, like, yeah, alright. Yeah, well, William Regal says, this guy is already better than Henry VIII. And I'm with him. Yeah. Because, because he didn't kill dog. his wife. Yeah. And he doesn't need to. Charmel is the best. It would have been yeah. crazy if someone else would have won King of the Ring and then later killed their wife. And also, oh Henry VIII was a Protestant. <laughs> up. Up. Come on. Come on. Get real. Booker T, Texas boy. He's at least. He's going at least Baptist. No, he's not Baptist. <laughs> Come on. He's get at real. least Baptist. Come on. Get real. He's not Baptist. He's at least Baptist. <laughs> hey, if you're Baptist. <laughs> What are you gonna it's say, dude? <laughs> yeah, Joe, we'll expand on that. <laughs> that just, some just some people just might be. <laughs> some people and might just, 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 just like bad. just, over your time just right like now. my my smoke bomb diver diversion to get out of this. All the ring aprons explode into gold confetti. Joe, you gotta pull over the vehicle, down dude. As William Regal for the next four minutes yells, "Long live King Booker." Yeah, yeah, she does not stop. He Happy Pride Month to William Regal. He? Yeah. No, but then Charmel also says Long Live King Booker. Oh, hey, yeah, yeah. King She Booker. says it and then William Regal takes charge of the chanting. They just keep yep. going with it. Yeah. And why hey, it's you? great. You got fireworks. They keep saying Long Live King Booker. I mean, it it's it's a masterpiece. <laughs> you know what would make this terrible? What? If somebody came out and was like, oh, you're not my king, that would have sucked. Well, you know, Bobby Lashley probably would have done it because, you know, he killed him after he won the King of the Ring. He speared him, and then he just gave up on that and said, you know what? I'm going to win the U.S. title. Fuck it. So, yeah, I mean. He made out better, I guess. Yeah, to be honest. Again, he... what would have King Bob, Bobby Lashley been if we're, if we're talking like he's going to consume the gimmick? Well, you don't want he might have been overthrown champion? by the U.S. Marines. That would have been sweet. I would have, I would have paid to watch that. If, if King Bobby, Bobby Lashley takes over reign, a republic and then gets to overthrown, yeah, by, uh, like a, like a plant within a, like a democratic plant. Essentially. Yeah, if, if, if he gets overthrown undemocratically, yep. by uh, by sleeper agents, I would have paid to watch that. They pull like a Hugo right. Ch Chavez on him. <laughs> yeah. Look, we're coming. We're coming for your lithium, brother. No, because Bobby sweats lithium. That's, that's true. why they come to get him. Yeah, that's what took I, away his eyebrows. I, I read that myself, actually. Oh, yeah, dude, tell me about that backstage though with Nunzio and Vito, chilling, eating a shfugat, a shfuyadel, a shfuyadel, a fajuli, a fajuli. Nico, what's the weirdest food that you can think of? Fuck, dude, why are you gonna put me on the spot like that? I'm sorry. We'll we'll give you a moment to think about it. Nunzio Full was like, "Hey, single hey. macaroni noodle. <laughs> We're gonna go see that one movie, See No Evil, right?" Uh, and then, and then Big Vito's like, "Ah, I don't know, I don't know, Big I don't Vito's know." Like, ah, I don't fuck with sexual deviancy like I'm, that. I'm looking for the coups, brother. Ah, the coups. Ah, weirdest food. And he goes, "Listen." Vito, I haven't heard from your Gumar in a while. Are you doing okay? And Vito's like, ah ha ha, yeah, 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 man, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm all right. And then he's like, ah, you okay? Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm all right. Yeah, let's get out there. Let's go out there and beat those tag champs. Like, okay. What happened? And Vito, Vito just looks uh very uh 
suspect, dude. He's very uh, Why does nervous. He look suspect. He's nervous. I don't know. He's just looking what? around like, ah, oh, dude. I, I really hope Vito doesn't find out or Nunzio doesn't find out, dude. Nunzio finding out about what? I don't know. We'll have to figure it out. Well, Nunzio I'm... tells him. He's like, yeah. Yo. I mean. The rumors been going around. Yeah, no, yeah he would never. Are the rumors that you that you like to enjoy your free time? Yeah. And big C, big Vito looks like he's seen a ghost for some reason. He's like, look, all that's fugazi, okay? Fugazi. Oh, bro went, bro let's go, let's go put that work in. Yeah. Um, how about how about we uh we beat these boys? We go home. We get a mozzarella sandwich, and we get a we, we sit down. Oh. A what? A, a mozzarella prosciutto. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna put you in a prosciutto. <laughs> No, please, dude. No, the not again. The press is coming for you. Not that's, again. That's Nico's finishing move. I have the, to communicate that to you first. The Luthez Linguini. The <laughs> Luthez Linguini in the prosciutto press. Signature <laughs> move followed by finisher. Oh, Let my. me tell you, you're going to be looking like a pasta when I'm done with you. Oh, God. You're going to be looking like a fucking bow tie noodle dog. I'm going to have you drinking the matzo ball soup when I'm done with you, kid. Ooh, that sounds pretty good. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to have you saying happy matzo to your neighbor. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back. Let me tell you, when I put you in the shooting <laughs> hey, if you made it, if you made it this far in the podcast. In hey, yeah, if you made it this far <laughs> in the podcast, drop a like, comment happy matzo to all my, to all my family <laughs> and friends back home. No, no, Ty, what I need you to do is huh? cut in all the videos you have of people saying happy matzah after oh, like I say a, that. Like a quick cut of all of them, like yeah. here? Like here yeah, it is? Yep, yep, like this is happy matzah. And, happy then, and then we matzah. move on as if nothing happened. Yeah, so... <laughs> London and Kendrick are here, dude. No way. They're... <laughs> Were they wearing red again? <laughs> <laughs> You're telling me after 40 years that Elon and Kendrick are the tag champs? Are you no. serious? Wow, there's no way they'd actually be <laughs> tag champions. <laughs> what, dude, what, Nico? What you gotta say, dude? You know what? If you don't talk to me like that, I'm not gonna say anything. I just heard you say something. I just thought we yelled over you. You, 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 you came very accusatory at me. I, I didn't I mean to. Offended. Like, I'm kind of sad. I'm sorry. I'm I'm a little excited. I think I think we need a formal apology to Nico. Listen, I apologize, Nico. I didn't mean to come at you like that. I just I love your opinions. Uh, fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah. So, what do you think about the match? The uh, which match are we talk about again? Come on, dude! It's Nunzio and Vito. Oh, this match? Yeah, against London and Kendrick. Disgrace! A disgrace to Italy. All I'm saying was that Big Vito was fucking working his ass off here. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. He, he was not Fugazi in this match. Nope. And when the ref was distracted, distra distracted uh, <laughs> getting Lizard Boy, Brian Kendrick, out of the ring, yep. he, he takes a moment to just clobber Paul London and then get back outside uh, to the corner, tag himself in from Nunzio, and just give, him, give uh, Paul London a running fucking shoulder charge. It was sweet. It was pretty good. London gives him a back body drop. Uh, but Big Vito pulls him back. Uh, him and Nunzio uh, do a, like, proto, uh, like, unicorn stomp from from oh, the New yeah. Day. You know? Yeah. And, uh, you know, Paul London's sort of trying to, trying to work back here. Uh, eventually gets the hot tag. Mm -hmm. uh, and Brian Kendrick is just demolishing Big Vito here. It's crazy. Yep. That that top rope uh, missile drop kick Brian Kendrick does after the hot tag just looks so good. There, I love looking yeah, at it. There was yeah. one bad spot when London tried to go for a drop kick and Vito just sold it even though he didn't get hit by it. And he goes, ah, and flies out the ring. Yeah, that did happen. <laughs> but the, the camera angle went back to hard cam yeah. real quick. So it kind of saved it a little bit. Kevin Dunn did a good for once. I couldn't believe it. And then uh, Kendrick hit the nasty slice spread number two. I don't think we've seen him do it all year. And got the pinfall on Big Nunzio. Yeah, this is the first time. This is his debut for his soon-to-be finishing move. I don't think it's his debut of that. They just don't have him do it for whatever reason. That move's too well, good. The first time he's done it on Smack Up. Welcome to the debut of Slice Spread number two for the Smack Up audience. 
Slice look it up. Slice bread number two actually sounds sick. Is is like a name for that? <laughs> it was a yeah. good match. It was a good match. I'm glad to you know to see Nunzio and Vito getting some offense in. Always good to see the boys hanging out. I love and, them. Uh, we need to see more Vito. I love quirky, yeah. wacky tag teams. I think out of all the SmackDowns I've been watching, this is the first time I've seen Vito. Because usually it's like Nunzio, and they're like, hey, I saw Vito. But yeah, they're just like, they're like, yeah, man, I saw Vito sucking dicks, dude. <laughs> yeah. like, no way, bro, no way. What? I saw Vito getting tag team behind the dumpster, bro. I've like, seen what? Vito do a little something for a Shwiyadel, you know what I'm saying? That's Nunzio. right. They have been doing a lot of that, I'll be real. But, you know, Vito got to got to work his magic a little bit. Listen, he man. was working like they were going to fucking future endeavor his ass, but I enjoyed it. Up, up to this point, I've still enjoyed it, even though the Mark Henry match wasn't a match. Uh, I'm, I'm liking this. I'm liking this show so far. It's a good episode. Yeah. I, I popped huge when Bobby came out and won the U.S. I'm li- I, I thought this is, this is one of, so far, this is one of the greatest SmackDowns, I'd say. I, I'm very sports entertained right now. I have, it's been pretty good so far. Listen, I have one more comment on Vito, and I'm really happy he's out of state penitentiary after 20 years because he was jerking off in a manic hot, and he could not. What? He needs to stop. Where did they find him? Where did they find him what? jacking it, dude? Oh no, no, he just told Nunzio one day that he said he couldn't stop jacking off in a manic hot, and he's glad to be out. Oh yeah, I heard one time he wanted to have sex with the tissue, but he compromised. He compromised, yeah. Definitely. Oh, he, he he cummed in the grilled cheese. Wow. <laughs> it was fucked up. It was so yeah. fucked up. I can't believe he did that. Wow, bro. Wow. There's no way. But yeah. uh, Are you telling me he cummed in the grilled cheese for real? And then yeah. what? Yeah. What do you mean, and then what? And then what happened? Wow, that's crazy. No, but check this out. He ate cum cheese off Are the Are you radio. okay, dude? Are you AI <laughs> generated, dude? Did I Did I break you? <laughs> Are you okay, Whoa. dude? Oh, speaking of oh, AI, wait, turn, show, let me turn off the my, AI. My bad, dude. my bad, my bad, my bad. I'm back. I had to, I had to let my AI sit in first. My bad, dude. <laughs> <laughs> speaking of AI show, uh, we get the raw rebound. We get the raw rebound of raw down. The the five twinks aforementioned earlier, just mercilessly pounding Shawn Michaels' prostate. Wow, wow. Then Triple H, Triple like H like is that. in there to finish the edge. <laughs> I like that. You know, he gets ready. He he reels in there. You know what I'm saying? He gets into the position. Shawn Michaels getting held up by four men. And then the leader of the four men, Big Kenny, he's like, give me that wiener. Give, give me that, that iron wiener. I'll, I'll do the job. You know, he's going to go back. He's going to hit Shawn. He's going to finish him with the prostate punch. And, uh, you know, yeah, Triple, Triple H Heaton went, he gets the in the way. Dude for himself. And he says, brother. Only I can give him the prostate punch. You know, hits him with a yeah. spine buster, gets a little freaky on him. He really it destroys the twinks. Unbelievable. Yeah. He says, only I can finish this, brother. And Mr. Oh. McVince is furious at the top apron. We get a... <laughs> We got. Why'd you guys let me do all that? Why did why are we why any of you interrupt me? <laughs> I, what, I don't what are know. We talking about tonight, guys. What are we here for? Because I'm, I'm lost. We're here for Mr. Kennedy. He's back. Kennedy. Again. He's coming back, guys. Wow. Kennedy. I grabbed my mic when I did that too, just so you know. Oh, uh, did you? <laughs> Oh wait, we got some time to kill, guys, because uh, Kali vs. Taker is a uh... <laughs> wow. Kennedy. Uh, oh, dude, I just hey, went into deep this, slumber. This match turned Great Kali into a star. Yeah, man. Kennedy. Because he won't be denied, and then Chavo Guerrero rolls I, up and see, says, "I didn't watch wow, I, It's bad. Oh, don't, don't worry, Ray. I got your back, Ray. I'm not gonna. Let hey, go hey. On. My dead uncle's best friend. I'm not homeless. What if we I'll come, lie? I'll come out to the. I'll, I'll come out to the air conditioned building with you. Yeah. Rey Mysterio or Chavo had to compromise and hang out with Rey Mysterio instead of Raw. <laughs> Otherwise, he was going to be yeah, they... out of a job, out of a house. You know. 
He's really trying to hype up Eddie Guerrero's best friend, too. He's like, dude, you, you went through a war, dude. You went to battle, wow, dude. you look pretty good, right? You know? He's like, you, you look really... You look really beat up. You look really jerked off. And hey. Ray's like, "Hey, it's the business." Have you been working out? He's like, "Hey, man, my uh, my penis was my penis was jerked, and I cummed." Wow. Tonight, I'm gonna come out with you after I've just eaten all the catering food because I can't afford any. <laughs> I'm Eddie Guerrero's nephew, by the way. Hey. And then they give it a big hug. Ray Mysterio says "Gracias," so we don't forget that he's from Mexico. Yeah. yeah, and then Chavo gives him a big hug and says, I can't wait for your match against Eddie. Ah, <laughs> I'm, oh, at, I mean... I'm at JBL, dude. <laughs> <laughs> we got a, a quick little shot after that of Finley uh, walking up to Gorilla uh, for his match. But who's that Who's that in the corner? Is that Kurt and Paul? Oh, Paul Heyman's talking to Kurt Angle, dude. What are they cooking? Are they? Oh, no, dude. I hope. I hope. I hope nothing bad happens. I don't like that. It's crazy. Did we get any sponsors today? This show is brought to you by. I don't know. I think we had. Uh... Aram's not here anymore after oh, the, God. Uh, the big ruckus, so we don't have anybody telling us the sponsors anymore. I think Subway was a, a, a sponsor. Was oh, it the only way to Oh, do it? no, it was Click It and Ticket, too. Definitely a Click It and Ticket. So if you oh, want us to a review a Click It and Ticket. Go down into the comments. Comment. I want the click it and ticket ad. Sponsor yeah, me. Ad review. Yep. Five hundred thousand patrons. I'm not joking about this. <laughs> no joke. I'm not Kill kidding. <laughs> five five hundred thousand patrons. We will do a booze and cruise <laughs> to test the sponsorship Dude. of the National Highway Traffic and Safety Administration. <laughs> and if I'm we get kidding. arrested, Click the link. <laughs> If we get arrested and charged with DUI, then they're doing their job correctly, and you can and believe this, in the force. The 500,000 dono patron gets to pick what we drink. And if they don't, though, and if they don't do it, though, then, then we prove that the system is flawed. But listen, and they need to do better. Whoever, whoever the 500,000th patron is gets to be in the car with us. <laughs> we'll fly him out. <laughs> yeah, you... This will be a last ride of sorts, so get ready, buddy. It's true. <laughs> and we're going to blast the smack of theme the whole time, and you're I won't be denied. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that, or, that or Matt Hardy's theme. Oh, shit, I went through a red light. Oh, fuck. And we're going to have somebody, too, just to add to it. <laughs> Listen, if, you, if you're our 4,000th patron, we'll kidnap you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Don't you want to be stolen from your life? Come join us. We'll kidnap you. And we're not joking. Yeah. Like, and we promise listen, we'll use part, high quality duct tape. Part of Patreon is in putting your address on the website. So if you if you do that, I'm just saying. The four thousand and first person gets to pick what kind of duct tape we use. Guys. I have nothing else to say. Guys. <laughs> My and name is My name is Finley, and I'm here to I'm drive. To kidnap people. <laughs> All right. Oh, they don't have the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration in Ireland. They oh, yeah, control a freak like 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 Finley. That's why they're well, all drunk I mean, all the time, bro. Yeah, you can't have it. Like, dude, they got the IRA, man. They just blow them up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Besides <laughs> from drinking and driving, it would just be the IRA all over again. No, they don't even they don't even pull over guys with the IRA stickers. No, they know better. Doesn't I guess matter how hard you're swerving or how many empty beer bottles you have in that car. <laughs> Give <That's laughs> cheeky fucking. We get here. We get here. <laughs> Speaking of drunk drivers, we got Paul Birchall driving into the match. He's got a new outfit. He's got a new look. He's his, still a his pirate. Sweet, his sweet coat, his cool necklace. This guy's sweet. Again, a Paul Birchall shows up on the episode, it's good. So this is one of the good greater episode. SmackDown episodes, in my opinion. Unfortunately, Finley kills him in like less than three minutes. Mm-hmm. And it was um, a one, man. I hate Paul Birchall. I'm going to click here on Cage Match. Well, I just want to make sure. It is, 
I don't this remember. Is a did Halberts get to swing in? Yeah, he, swing in. He, he, he gets a quick he gets a quick swing. Okay. Yeah. If, yeah. Finley killed him quick, and then I don't know what decide. Finley just starts going brain blast mode, and then he just like goes under the ring and. Who is that? It's Little Bastard himself. It's Hornswoggle. I don't think he's called Hornswoggle yet, but he's here. I think he goes by Little Bastard. And uh, he looks like he was in a bunch of uh, motor oil and dirt. And yeah. he wow. picks him up by the by the shirt, like like a dog, and just like rips him up and throws him at uh, Paul Burchill. And he starts ravaging Paul Burchill. And then... Uh, yeah. <laughs> And then he picks picks him back up and then kicks him into the corner and tells him to go away. And I was like, what the fuck? No, this was insane. It was crazy. Was... I can't believe that was the debut. <laughs> I, I fucking yelled so loud. Ty and I were watching the episode together. I yelled. I was like, what is that green light? And then I quickly realized, oh, this is the one. This is it. When Finley reaches under the ropes in the green light and then out comes the little bastard. <laughs> God, grabs the shillelagh and just dog walks Paul Burchill. It's insane. Yeah, all because he's <laughs> British. Well, he kind of deserved it there. He did. Listen, man. What happened to Paul Burchill? What the fuck, man? He's what happened? British. Come on. He deserves better Whatever than this. Happened to the country I loved. Uh, oh. Do you think the Dutch East India Company deserves better? I don't know what you're talking about, man. You're scaring me. Exactly. Whoever, whoever the governor of the the St. Thomas of the Virgin Islands is has got to get his come and get his mans. Where the hell That's is true. the Gemini at? Where are you, Gemini? What happened? I don't know. Ah, jeez, man. What did we do to earn this? This, this was a blessing. Ah, <sighs> the duality of man right before you. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the main event. <laughs> the Diva Search. Oh. Wait, yeah, the Diva Search. It's yeah. happening. Oh, tell us about it, Joe. Uh, they're playing the Kelly Kelly music, I think. Better come and we'll say, hmm. Uh, what? What? Yep. What we got, we got, we got a quick little replay of Bobby Lashley spearing JBL in half to once again become the U.S. champion for the first time. Woohoo! Yeah, which is good. And we are off to the races. Are we? Main event, baby. Okay. Tony Chimmel gets on the mic. This is your main event. The following match is for the World Heavyweight Championship. And there is one condition. If JBL loses, he will quit SmackDown. I... We get JBL coming out to the limo, perhaps for the last time. Ding, Too bad, ding, because ding, ding, the ding, shit ding, was ding. swagged out. Yeah. He's still wearing the American like uh, like sweater quarter zip. Yeah. Still, still a fucked fit, and I want one of those. It's pretty good. I need to know how to get that. <laughs> this match. Now, however, we can't. Pop, we can't yeah. forget. Every, I need a quick reminder for the people. I'm sure, they have forgotten. Huh? The official lookbook for Smack Smack Up, as I said before. We're talking. We're talking. Fucked oh, up yeah. levels of dictatorship. You know. Yep. I'm saying, you got to be looking like. You're going to take over a small island, possibly in the Pacific Ocean, and then uh, in state communism. Yep. Oh. Camo, camo or tan yep. uh, fatigues. Correct. Uh, which are surprisingly easier to find than JBL's fucking American flag sweater. Yep. You know? Yeah. You can get the fatigues at just about any army surplus store or like just Salvation Army, too. Mm-hmm. He's got a keyed in look, JBL does. He's what? actually focused. He hasn't yelled about Mochisbo for five whole minutes. Who's Mochisbo? Yeah. No, he's, <laughs> no, he's, he's, he's a secret shit. fighter you have to unlock. Mochisbo, yeah. no. <laughs> he's, he's like ultimate. He's like Ultimo fucking dragon. And here comes the pain. You got to do some weird shit to unlock him. Deep cut. Ultimo dragon was in Here Comes the Pain. I think so. You're lying to me. There's he, was a, he was in one of the ones. I could have sworn it was the game with Brock Lesnar in it, which is that. He is, he is definitely you. a playable character, and here comes the pain. That's crazy. Yeah. I never knew. He's the. It's the only time he's been in a WWE game. Joe, that's a fucking pull. You're crazy. 
Yeah, Dude, you a, don't have to fact check me. I know everything. I was, I, I was blessed with visions from the moon mother. What are you guys not getting? I'm sorry, dude. I get it. What are you guys not it's understanding? It's just a non-fucking believer over here, Ty. Yeah, but I what's know. his overall, dude? Sacrificing children to the doesn't. Demons. It doesn't matter. Not believe Give a guess. Because tonight, tonight, we get two new renditions of Rey Mysterio from the crowd. One, which is fine. <laughs> it's, a, it's a Rey Mysterio tapestry. I'm okay with that. That looks nice. I could hang that on a wall if I like Rey Mysterio. <laughs> Looks a little, looks a little too Caucasian for me, but they tried their best. The second yeah. one, super fucked. We get Cryptid Ray. Oh, Let's take uh -huh. a look at that. That's really important. Oh, yeah, yeah. Ray I know, screen, I know it's three please. in the morning on a Wednesday, but you have to put this in. Look at this guy. Yeah, look at him. That's terrifying. Now make him, now make him scriggly. <laughs> what do you mean oh, by that? Oh, look how cute he is. Uh, Editor Ty will know. Okay. Editor Ty and I have got a rapport. You know what I'm saying, Editor Ty? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Shut up, editor. Time. Exactly. Just like, just like JBL tells uh, Eddie Guerrero's best friend to shut up. He comes in. Rey Mysterio doesn't even get a chance to hold in, uh, hold up his belt during a championship match because JBL fucking assaults him as soon as Rey enters the ring. Hits him with a nasty sh uh, shoulder charge. Uh, gets a one count. Keeps going for pins and uh, just another. JBL Ray match full of rust holes that go on for a little too long. Uh, him and Chavo, I think, have some pretty fun moments where Chavo's like, "Hey, JBL, fuck you," and then JBL sticks his <clears> leg <throat> out of the the ring and tries to kick him, even though he's way too far and knows he can't kick him. So just some fun stuff. JBL Irish whips uh, Ray into the rings, uh, into the rope rather. Uh, while Chavo's up on the rope to talk to the ref for some reason, just launches Chavo into the into the guardrail, and Chavo, since he's not a real one, uh, won't damage his head from this, like Chris Benoit. Yeah. Uh, and then sets him up for a clothesline from hell. What is that? One, two, three. <laughs> oh shit! JBL is the world heavyweight champion. Fuck yeah. No way. What? <laughs> no freaking way. Just like uh, Molina at Judgment Day, he was holding on the ropes the whole time, and they count to three. And, uh, yeah. He's just done. Nah. Nah. What happened? What? Nah, nah, nah. We don't play like that. What do you mean? The world's biggest charity case, Rey Mysterio, had his leg on the rope. Yep. And the referee just realized it. says, no, this match is not done. JBL's like, what are you talking about? You counted three, idiot. And then Tony <laughs> Chimmel gets on the mic and he says, the referee has ruled that Rey Mysterio's leg was on the rope. This match will continue. All right. Match is not over. This was crazy. I, I kind of wish JBL won because it would have been funnier here. But no, I mean, we got to see. Match will continue on. It's restarted. And we go to commercial. That was really bad. That was a really bad, like, <laughs> bit. Um, but altogether, it was a better match than Judgment Day. Funny enough. Even with the shit, like, false finish. It was, yeah. a, well, Ray actually had offense. Ray actually looked like the champion for a little bit. Yeah, it's yeah. pretty impressive. I don't believe that. You have to provide me empirical evidence what to do prove you, that to me. What, what do you mean? How so? No, nah, I believe you. You don't believe me, I trust dude. you. I trust you, guy. Nah, dude, you're trying to get on me for always questioning you. I see how it is. I see. I, I, I'm pulling. I'm pulling your strings, dude. I get it. No, nah, this was fine because we come back to commercial and Fat JBL's doing the Eddie Guerrero, fat JBL. like Viva La Rasa with his titties bouncing all around. It looks pretty funny. <laughs> this is probably the one moment tonight JBL looked like he was having fun. Um. Uh, and then it was taken away from him. Uh, they end up on the second rope. J uh, Rey Mysterio tried going for some kind of top rope offense, but JBL gets up to the rope and uh, hits Ray with a back body drop from the second rope. Ray goes for a cover, or gets covered, rather. And the ref does a weird-ass maneuver where he's like slithers out of the ring to start the count. Ref is doing too much tonight, I think. Yeah. This is crazy. This was fucked up. Was it was it Jimmy? Yeah, because Jimmy Corderas is that one moment. I don't know if you've brought it up. You might have where 
uh, JBL got hit into the 619, and he couldn't because the ref was just, like, in front of him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This was, was the moment where uh, uh, Ray uh, kicks JBL, then JBL falls into referee Jimmy Corderas, like you say, into the position, and then drop toe holds uh, JBL onto the referee. And Ray, because he's so honorable and definitely not a charity case, who can take advantage of a situation, is like, ah, I can't, Eddie. Uh, Eddie, I can't do Eddie. it. And then he gets in the dick by JBL. And yeah. he's like, oh, Eddie, ah! And then uh, JBL's like, I'm going to pull a hot one. Gets outside, grabs a chair, and Chop was like, no, don't hit my <laughs> my uncle's favorite guy, his best friend. Don't do that. And he's like, shut up, amigo. And then he hits him oh, with boy. the hardest chair shot I've seen in a while on the end. Just kills Chapo. I was like, holy oh, yeah. shit. Wow. And then he's like, that's what I did to your uncle. That's what I did to your uncle. Yeah. Uh-huh. Eddie Guerrero has taken over the body of Rey Mysterio and that <laughs> Rey Mysterio was bleeding out of his mouth again. That's right. No, man. <laughs> JBL has... Uh, Got the chair still in hand. He's going to absolutely demolish Ray up in the corner, but Ray ducks it. Boom! Shebang! To the nuts of JBL. Uh, (laughs) And then JBL drops the chair, reels back to the corner. Ray gets up on the rope and gives him a nasty tornado DDT onto that very chair. And uh, that's the moment where the ref is still dead for some reason on the rope. That's okay because Ray is able to drop Toho JBL once again. 619, Frog Splash, 123. Ray Mysterio is still the world heavyweight champion. He actually won a match almost convincingly. This is crazy. I know. The champion of our show has won a match on his show. But you know what this means, on right? Free, on free TV, no less. Are you kidding me? This is no, great. Is this is one of the greatest SmackDowns ever. Just but. For that. But yeah. JBL is fired, dude. No. He has oh. to quit. Actually, you know no. what? Teddy caught him, dude. He didn't have to fire him. Like, you so saw Eminem and Molina collecting checks of unemployment. JBL can't yeah. do that. He quit. Yeah. He did quit. It's okay. He's got his stocks. He ain't hurting. Oh, my God. No. Also, again, I think we had really great camera work tonight because the last shot before the show goes off the air is JBL sort of facing the um, like announce table, just distraught, sad, sweaty, and on his knees. Happy Pride Month. And Rey Mysterio in the back on the Titan Tron, holding up his world title at the top of the apron. Uh, it's so awesome. Great shot. I love this. Good show. Very good show. We had a good SmackDown, guys. How we, we did it. How do we get here again? Oh, I dude. think it was fine, dude. I don't know. What? Yeah, I- I'm with Pete. It was fine. Oh, my. Like, there were some good parts, but, like, I don't know. I think, like, I I think this is a case of we've been in the mud for so long. That everything seems good now. I need it. I need the schlock. I need the shit. I need the good stuff all mixed up I... into one beautiful package. I can't have all shit. I can't have all good. I, I think be just because just because we've been in the stinker for so long, I personally don't think it disqualifies this particular episode from being uh, a a good one, not just or not just an okay one. But I think this was a good one, you know. Even in spite of that, you know, we got to take them where we can get because if this is just an okay show, uh, we might be in for a tough one. Yeah. Um, I mean... yeah. Yeah, maybe. But, I mean, it's like, th- there's only so much you guys can do anyways. I mean, you're smack up, not raw down. So, no. it's like, yeah, it was fine. I'm going to butcher you. So I'm going <laughs> to destroy you. You keep talking, though. We agreed. I was your advocate. I'm kidding. I'm this kidding. Is what happen- this is what happens when you when you deal with a, with a raw down. I can't make jokes. Uh, no, I, dude. I, I apologize. He stabbed us from me. He stabbed me right in the back. He stabbed you in I, the back, dude. Come, come back to the I, blue, please. Come back. I, I apologize. Okay. You don't. Uh, all right. You know what? We'll, we'll take your apology into consideration for next week. If next week's episode is good, we're gonna, 
tombstone you off a building. <laughs> Fair enough. You know what? I'll, I'll accept my fate because I am an honorable man. Do we do we get any like exciting news for the next episode, or do we just got to show just up? Ended on JBL about to get fucking put out. JBL is gone, dude. Yeah, JBL is gone. We get, like, we're gonna get the "I will remember you" supercut of JBL on SmackDown. JBL's gone. <laughs> New U.S. champ. Yeah. We have uh, uh, Little uh, Bastard debuted, and we have Mr. You. Kendi coming soon. So, so wait, before, so, you know, when all the JBL's gone, uh-huh. like, again, I wasn't here for a lot of JBL, but, like, how was his run overall, uh, looking back? Pretty, I, pretty strong. For the episodes I've been on since I've made the full transition uh, to smack up, Happy Pride Month. Happy Pride uh, Month. Pretty strong, I'd say. He's been oh, booked okay. very well for him. You weren't here for the boogeyman. I wasn't here for the boogeyman. I yeah. heard about Jillian Hall here. getting her mole eaten, but I mean that's just a that's just a Vince moment. You weren't here for Moon Pie. Moon Pie was a tough moment. That's you just a Vince here... moment. No, no, you were there for the beer drink contest. I had was... fun with that. <laughs> that was potentially a high. But he also broke his hand in real life, so what can you do? Uh his feud with Chris Benoit. The cage match coming out of nowhere yeah, because Teddy Long summoned it was crazy. Yeah, it was a good match. He apparated the cage. Again, the Teddy Long, one of the best general managers ever. He can apparate a steel cage. Yep. It's on It's on, It's on. on site. Basically. Yeah. JBL winning the U.S. belt and saying, you know what, I don't care about this thing. I'm going to go for the world heavyweight title was crazy too. Look, if you're not always looking forward, then... You know, you're not living. That was his only JB... title defense, by the way. <laughs> was against Bobby Lashley a month or two months after Mania. Damn. So the politics is crazy. Only a minute. Say. Only a minute too. <laughs> hey, what a run. You know what? Yeah. I don't know. Well, how do you feel about on this day in nineteen sixty seven, <laughs> uh Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Heart oh. Club came out. That's, How do you feel about that? That's a very good album. That's What's good better, album. this current JBL run on SmackDown or 1967's Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club band? Oh, dude. Mr. Kite, dude. What? The, the, he's in the album, dude. For the benefit of Mr. Kite. There will be a show tonight on trampolines. I've heard this. Yeah, man. Come on, Pete. Don't be late. And with that, you've been smacked up. Smacked up, bro.